Good morning, guys. It's we a are beautiful. Ready to go. It's a beautiful Sunday and we're ready to rock so and roll right. <laughs> on our road trip. Okay, done, we've got, done. oh no, it's gonna close on me. Ah, it's gonna close on me. Okay, saved it. <laughs> we've got all of our clothes and stuff in here. We've got an, a whole electronics bag. I know you're what, like what the heck, Jared? What did you no, possibly No, I know bring? that, I know why. <laughs> it's like all of our electronics, cameras, drone, all of that good stuff, my laptop, Guitar, ukulele. I know it's a little excessive for just like a short family reunion. Do you bring Jackson's bike? <sighs> that might be a good idea. And Calvin's little red one. Do I just throw it in there? Yeah, we'll bring those in there. But I want to make sure we have just everything at our disposal for fun and activities. It's it's gonna be great. The kids are loaded up and we are going to rock and roll on this road trip. Ready for a QA? Yeah. Driving all day? Driving all day with a QA. What do you say? How about that? You hey. want me to do the QA? I told Jared I'd be happy to drive the first part. And I can moderate the QA. Yeah, do you want me to? Maybe we should do rock, paper, scissors for it. Okay. Winner. Winner drives. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Tie. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. You dry. <laughs> okay, a little rearranging and we're set to go. Oh, there's one more thing. One more thing. Cannot forget the goodies and the drinks in here in our cooler. That would have been a disastrous seal because you need your snacks on a road trip. Probably one of the most important things next to your uh, luggage is the snacks. While the kids are asleep, I think one of them might be waking up soon. Uh, Jared and I want to do a Q&A. We asked you guys on Twitter yesterday for your questions. I have a whole bunch of them, so let's get started. All right, the first question is, what is something you want Jackson and Calvin to remember about their childhood once they get older? Boom. Ooh, uh, I put on the spot. I think I want them to remember me playing with them at home. That's something that I had with my dad and I felt like it was very special to me. Not everyone's dad worked from home, but mine did. I remember playing baseball with him outside nearly any time I wanted him to, you know, that he was free. And I like that feeling that I had with my dad and I want my kids to have that same feeling. And you know, it may not always be like that, but I want them to remember that. This is an interesting question that could go in 1,000 different directions. What is the biggest struggle of being parents? And my direction I'm going to take it is my biggest struggle of being a parent is finding the balance between everything else in life, um, between Jared especially. One-on-one um, -on -one time with Jared, I think that, that is something that we are trying to balance and figure out, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. I, like I date nights. Watching. We're trying yeah. to do more dates, so it's just me and you time. But you also want to have the balance of, you know, playing with the kids. You want the discipline balance. You, I mean, there's always that struggle to find that perfect balance because it's constantly changing. And especially with age and with children, you know, Jackson needs a different balance than Calvin does. So I think that's... That's hard to find, but I think the answer that I want to give for that, I, I think as parents, you're always wondering, like, am I doing a good job? Am I doing the best that I can do? Is Jackson, are Jackson and Calvin going to be the best possible versions of themselves because of my parenting? And that's something that I always want them to do is like, you know, I want them to be the best versions of themselves. This one just made me laugh. Will you just do chickens or will you do other little friends? Hashtag get a pig, hashtag real Peppa Pig. Um, for sure we're doing chickens and for sure in the future, like many years down the road, um, I definitely wouldn't mind getting some other little animals, especially if we ever got more property, that would be fun. Hashtag Peppa Pig in real life. I think goats would be fun. Now before you fall asleep, there's a question of what is your favorite thing about Calvin? Uh, playing the fish game. Playing the fish game with them? Mm -hmm. What else is your favorite thing about Calvin? The play tag outside. Oh, oh, fun. How do you go about praying as a couple? That's a good one. I mean, we always do breakfast prayers. Yeah, I mean like the meals and 
first I think we we always need to pray more I think you know that's yeah like, we want to pray more together but before bed and meals is usually like when we pray um yeah morning and night and then we we definitely have our individual prayers especially when we went on our four-wheeling date trip this week we talked a lot about like how we were feeling and like what we have been like individually been praying about and so I think that's a really good reason why you do need to have dates or one-on-one -on -one time with your spouse to talk about how you're feeling what you're wishing what you're praying for what you're needing um, so yeah what is the longest you and Jared have fought for this is a very interesting question and it there's no right or wrong way I think to it's just what you and your spouse need to do to get over arguments Jared and I from day one and it's been very good for us considering this is what we do for a living um, we do not linger fights we don't hold grudges we do get upset we, we have, have arguments we, we have, have disagreements yeah. Jared and I have always been open in communication and we compromise and when I say oh I don't think we'll do that and he really wants to I know that okay then we will or vice versa we both are really good to just know not to take so much or he's not to take so much and we're really good to just like work down the middle I've always thought selflessness was a huge factor in the success of marriage but it has to go both ways both parties have to be selfless yes um, but how long did our boxing match last like when we were really angry and like we put on the glove we went <laughs> in the ring and we just duped it out was that like, like what three 20 minutes? minutes 20 minutes how no many Jared and I are not perfect we argue we fight we have discussions we have disagreements our feelings get hurt we say things we don't mean but at the end of the day we really don't go to bed fighting yeah. and that's what I'm very grateful for that's very important to me that we solve what we can there what is one thing you hated growing up but now as an adult you love baked potatoes yes <laughs> I'm still having a hard time with mashed potatoes believe it or not I hated potatoes as a kid like my grandpa Oh my gosh, he made me eat one. He's like, you're not leaving this table until you eat your potatoes. And I took a bite and swallowed it and I threw up. I hated them. But going to Finland and becoming an adult, I've learned to like baked potatoes. What is the greatest thing you've done this summer as a family? And it's something that we haven't even really captured very much. Maybe on Instagram stories we have, but it's after we've ended the vlog, if the kids have stayed up late or if one of the kids, usually we kind of take turns. Like if one kid's having a hard time going to bed or one wakes up we just hang out in our yard with the grass and play and that's been a really fun memory what are some names you might consider for a baby it says the baby but um just future babies we totally love the name Dallin. totally this says tips on discipline and learning for children and I think more and more especially as we get into YouTube and I'm being open and listening to other people's stories. I think that as a parent, you need to definitely feel um, what's best for you and your children. Um, but the best thing that's worked for us on disciplining and learning from children is communication. Little three-year-olds, they're just three and um, they need to be, they need to learn and they need to respect and they need to listen but their little minds are so little still, you know? And so I think just communicating is a big key. I asked Jackson why I got mad at him. I asked him what he did wrong, and we talk through a lot of things. So, I do you have that, any? Yeah, there's a saying that uh, I like. It's like, discipline hard, but love harder. And that's something that I always try and do with our kids, is like, if I get after them for doing something, I love them, like, bring them in and make sure they know that I love them all the more after the discipline, if that makes sense, yep. you know what I mean? When you and Jared have another baby, will Calvin be moved to another room in the house or will he stay in the room he is in? Um, maybe not at first because the baby will probably be in our room With for us, the yeah. first few months, but for sure that room upstairs, it was and is kind of designed for the youngest, the, the baby, baby, to be in that room. So eventually, 
uh, Calvin will be with Jackson or in their own room. I think it'd be really fun if they were in a room together because yeah. I always love sharing rooms, so we'll see. I don't know about that, but. I can totally picture Jackson and Calvin sharing a room and then the baby having its own room upstairs. Yeah. What are your favorite TV shows on Netflix? Um, we just got done watching. We just finished Master of None. Which was really fun. Was really, really great. It's a different kind of TV, but I really enjoy Aziz Ansari. We like The Flash, we love Psych. We wish Psych was coming back to Netflix. Oh, um, can we talk about the Psych hype for the movie <laughs> coming out this Christmas? So excited for that. One show that we've been watching a lot too is Better Call Saul. We loved Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, I think it's just as good. It's probably better because it's not as yeah, I like it I think a it's lot. cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. We have two more questions, and I'm going to save the last for the kind of the most requested, but this is a very good question. How do you handle hate? You guys are always so positive and strong. Well, thank you. We definitely are not strong all the time, but... Who, who are you kidding? Do you see these muscles on my <laughs> arms? I'm so strong. In all seriousness, you know... You know, there's there's always that, and like we know what we signed up for. That this is something that just happens with it, and it can be difficult to get the hate. And sometimes, you know, we expect it so we can brace ourselves and kind of know what's coming. But sometimes we get blindsided, and sometimes we just have to take the day and just you know let it let our emotions play out. And we sometimes we don't film the big part of that day because our feelings are hurt and we're working on that and sometimes our kids even see that and see that as in like yeah. sometimes it can affect us and we're like so it's hard because this is our life you know it's it's different if it was like oh we did some like challenge video and people hated yeah. it but when it's like so personal and we're kind of in those years where we're like raising our children and it's really hard sometimes to separate it and you do what's best for you and to not let other people, you know, even family, friends, affect how you are raising your family. So yeah. sometimes it can just trigger something and... When you're um, dealing with delicate emotions, those things have a big effect on it. How do we deal with it? You know. Sometimes we just have to take a morning break or an, <laughs> or an afternoon. That's usually how we deal with it is we just, we're just not going to film until tonight or we'll film in the morning and not in the evening and kind of just like re recoup. <laughs> recoup and we always try to make sure that we're there for the other person. Like sometimes I have a hard time with comments and sometimes Ellie does and we're always trying to be there for each other and I think that's a big part of it. And this last question has been requested a lot but it's been very hard. Um, so you can kind of help answer, but it is talking about how we are doing after the miscarriage emotionally, mentally, um, how are we doing? And you could probably attest how I'm doing mentally. <laughs> <laughs> I have not been very open yet um, with how I've been feeling. I feel like when we share stuff online, you have to feel very good about what you're sharing because you are so vulnerable and if you're not, even the slightest, the slightest hesitation can make you curl up into a ball. And um, I've done that a little bit and I totally have had to curl up into a little ball because I haven't been able to emotionally handle sharing and right now. And I've shared a little bit and I'm very sad and I love and adore my children and I don't take them for granted and because I have two kids it doesn't mean I don't want more and I've just been very sad and blue and I've been confused and I've been confused because now I'm at a spot where my emotions are very raw and I just don't know if I'm ready to have another baby right now so we're definitely just kind of just healing still, if that makes sense. I think the one of the hardest parts to handle for you mentally is that one thing that we wanted to do especially about this was to be more open and to document this more. And once we started doing that, I just don't think it was very well received. 
and I think that was hard for us to handle. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Like Ellie said, the gratitude that we have for our two kids, like that's, I mean, you can't put, you, you can't put a number on that. I mean, it's just that we have so much gratitude for what we have already, but. Doesn't think, mean we don't want a bigger family. Yeah, and it doesn't mean that you can't be sad for a loss. Yeah. Yeah. I've just been kind of blue, and that's about how we have been feeling a little bit. I think something that Jared and I have learned, uh, we've been doing, we started documenting about our struggles, and it's a little harder right now to document it because of the following that we have and it, how vulnerable we're willing to be right now. And we have learned a few things. I think the next time we get pregnant or have a miscarriage, I think that it's really important that, because right now we're sharing everything as it happens. And I think next time I, for my own like mental health and for us to really soak it in, um, whether it's happiness or grieving, it may take us a little bit to share. Um, because it was really hard to grieve and then share it right away and it's just something that we're still learning of how we want to film and how we want to document our life and not saying that it's like oh we're not going to be open it's just just not right away like right now I'm still trying to figure out my own emotions so it's hard for me to talk about the miscarriage and how I'm feeling because I don't even know how I'm feeling right now if that makes sense I'm trying to just swallow it and figure out how I'm feeling before I talk about it too much. And before, you know, moving on. Yeah. You know. But with these last two questions, we are absolutely so grateful for the wonderful following that we have in the viewers. It's been so amazing. I've messaged several of you separately back on Instagram, um, comments, meeting you guys in person. Like, we would never change what we do. Ever. Like it, this is a wonderful thing to have in a wonderful community. Um, we're just still learning and trying to figure out our own emotions right That's now. That's what I was going to say is it's surprising that we've done this daily for three years, but every day we're still learning something new and every day, gosh darn it, Jared, I don't want to get emotional. <laughs> every day I'm grateful for the positivity that we get. Yes. I know we talked the last a little bit about our emotions and and how we've been feeling and how we respond to those types of things but the positivity the support that we get is overwhelming and it's wonderful and it's amazing and it's because I know a lot of you guys have gone through a lot of the same things that we have gone through and are going through totally it, it outweighs the negative and we don't really talk about the negative too much but because of these questions we're bringing it up a little bit but it outweighs the negative and we are so so grateful for that that does it for our Q&A we are gonna get ready for our little family reunion so we're gonna let grandma in the vlog for us today bye guys thanks for watching our video thumbs up for Jared and I thumbs up we'll see you tomorrow bye <laughs>